Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're probably wondering why it looks like I'm in a kidnapper's lair. And just want to let you all know, I am safe. And as of right now, in this recording, nobody has kidnapped me yet. But I mean, if you want to lock me up, by all means, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But you're not here about my safety and well-being. You're here because you're probably a procrastinator. And you haven't gotten that special someone there fill a bowl to you. Alright, so no worries, no worries, I got you. So I'm going to give you six ideas for that special bubble tea lover in your life, all right? First one would be a little card game called Sabotage. It was started a few years back by this really cool dude named Eric. It's a fun little game that has like all these cute little cards. And what you do is that you're basically a bubble tea owner and you're trying to create five complete drinks. And you want to do that before your other opponents do. So you can have basically seven sets of cups and then with those you just want to be able to fill up five there are multiple ways to play this game you know multiple strategies that you could do and what's cool is that the game even though it started as a base game within the past like one to two years they already started one expansion pack which is the legends of matcha and they have a brand new one called uh tasty tea so yeah so it's been really cool seeing this company really grow and with this one one of the things I love about it is the playability of it. And if you were with a special someone that got the golden version, you're golden. Ha ha ha. Alright, number two would be basically for the person who basically goes like what? Once a week, twice a week, three times a week to go get bubble tea. Is to get them a, you know, a special item that they could reuse over and over again. So for this one. There's a few different ones that I would recommend. The very first one will be a little tumbler, a bubble tea tumbler that they can reuse. So the one I would recommend would, would be from a company called Betty Boba. And for hers, it's it's a very cute little, uh, basically a tumbler where you could put boba and you have a straw that's very easy to clean. Now then, the only caveat to this is that some places they don't allow you to take a tumbler and then just to like refill it or anything. Especially when, you know, a lot of places, even though they do, you know, use different size ounces and all that, you know, it just gets a little complicated and depending on their municipality, they may or may not be allowed to use a reusable cup. So that's just one thing to kind of like mention out there. Now that if that's the case, there is the alternative where you could have, you know, a, at least a reusable straw. Because for the most part, a lot of the marketing is geared towards people who want to save the turtles. And a lot of the videos that you all see about it is a turtle with a straw stuck up their nose. So yeah. So that's the case. You have two options for those. Typically you have a metal straw. Just make sure that the metal straw that you purchase has a little, you know, puncture in it. Because most places, you know, if they do traditional bulb, they will use see plastic film, whether it's a PP film or a PET film but for the most part not too many places use like you know the traditional lids or you know or the new one where it's like you know the bigger slit hole so you could just kind of drink it so I'll just recommend getting a straw that's specific for bubble tea and at least if you have one for that you can also use it for your smoothie so yeah just make sure there's a point in it you can't always get them like a smoothie straw if you really can't find a bubble one but the one I typically recommend would be like, you know, one from Mermaid Straw. Basically, you just want to make sure it's metal and, you're, and you have the filter. Now then, the downside of having a metal straw is having to clean it thoroughly every single time. When you have, like, a lot of the uh, gunk that gets built up and you're not really cleaning thoroughly, you're just going to be drinking up, like, you know, leftover boba or leftover, you know, smoothie or whatever you use it for. So... That's just one thing I would mention. And, you know, like there are some of them where they are collapsible. And some of them are just one solid metal. I personally prefer the solid metal one just because, I don't know, the collapsible one. I just, I don't know, I just never like. Because sometimes, there's been a few moments where I've seen like a little bit of leakage. Now then, the other alternative would be to get a silicone one. So, one example would be one from Bobo Tribe where... It's a cute little keychain, and there's a silicone that you basically have it wrapped back around. You tuck it in, so it's always easier to carry. The, that one I really like because it's much more portable. You could 
since it has a since it's like a little keychain, it can latch you onto your keys, it can latch you onto your book bag, you can latch you onto your messenger bag, whatever you want. And to me, I think that's more portable. Of course, the downside for this one is because it's silicone, if you don't tuck in the item properly, so that way it's like a nice straw, it will start breaking apart when you're drinking it. So, you know, it's one of those things where if you don't do it properly the first time around, you're going to have a terrible time doing it. One that I would recommend, this is definitely for, you know, you know, Boba fanatics who have kids or maybe they have, you know, a special, you know, child in their life that they want to give it like a niece, a nephew, a grand, a godchild, a grandchild, or, you know, someone that wants to learn, you know, their Mandarin and stuff like that. We book called from, uh, from the company Mina Learns Chinese and it's called I Love Boba. It's a very cute book. The illustration is adorable. You get it in English, you get in, you know, traditional uh, Mandarin characters, or you can even get in Pinyin. So, you know, it'll be a great little book to introduce to kids who, you know, aren't quite familiar with Boba, but, you know, they still want to be able to see it. You know, be able to learn a little bit more about, you know, talk a little bit more about, you know, the origins of Boba. And it's a great, you know, intro for kids who are not, you know, familiar with it to be able to learn what it is. And if you're a person that wants to brush up on their manner and all that, you can, you know, use it and then kind of like just read because they do have that option. So I think it's a cute little thing for y'all to get. So yeah, definitely snag it up if you can. All right, so the next one would be for those who like to smell good, you could get a brown sugar milk tea bar soap. Oh, and they also come with like liquid soap. And if you like to just have things smell nice, you can always get candles. So for that one, you know, I just recommend just hobby on Etsy. There's so many, you know, little artists that, or little vendors that are out there that, you know, do cater to bubble fanatics. So you get, you know, any flavor like a brown sugar milk tea, a regular milk tea, a Thai tea, a taro, a matcha, a brown sugar, whatever you want, they probably have it. And the last one that I have for y'all is for those gym rats out there. <laughs> I kid, I kid, I kid. You're a gym rat in your life. You could always get a new drink that's basically a boba tea powder. So it's been circulating for the past like, you know, two or three years and now. There's a couple of different brands, but yeah, there's one from Barbell Brigade from uh, Bark. Yeah, from Bark. And then there's another one of boba tea powder. So yeah, so those are pretty good alternatives for those who are you know, working out, but they also need to get their protein taken. That's my list for y'all for, you know, last minute gift first. So yeah, so is there something that you recommend? Is there something that I miss? Something that you want me to cover? You know, just comment below and let me know. All right, bye.